Uh, this is an example of a skills and training matrix. Uh, now, if you're familiar with skills matrices, uh, you'll know that they give you a current view of team capability. What this uh, management tool does is it, is it extends that to also encapsulate target scores. So whilst it may look a little bit complex to, to begin with, let me explain the report. Uh, so we have our processes, skills or competencies listed along the top. We have our team members and their role listed along the left. And then we have a score, which is um, a color, which indicate, indicates their current capability. So X means they're exempt from the skill. One, they're not yet capable, but required to be skilled in that specific task or process. Two, they're starting to show capability. Uh, training is, is very much underway. Three, they're fully capable. Uh, now, this is they've done all of the training and they've also evidenced that they can meet the quality and skills requirement of that, that process or skill. Uh, four, is they're an expert and or can train others. Uh, it's important to identify and distinguish between expert and capable um, so that you can actually spread the responsibility of training. If you improve or if you create a, a, a talent pool where you can have multiple training sessions happening at once, you can upskill far, far quicker. So once we've allocated a score against the current capability of an individual, so we can see here that Halam is level three in assist advisor with preparing for a client meeting, we can start to actually set an expectation of where we want him to be proficient. So Halam is currently three, but we want him to be four. He is already four in complete follow-up with tasks that result from client meeting, uh, so he's meeting his objectives. If we look across the far right-hand side, what we can see here is, is a count of capability. So the system automatically, or the Excel spreadsheet in this example, automatically counts all of the capable levels of skill. Now, of the 13 tasks, he's capable in all 13. Uh, so he, he doesn't have a, uh, a gap in terms of improving uh, to a capable level. He does have some opportunity to improve, uh, to become an expert in certain areas. Uh, and his overall current capability score is 96.2%. Because we're expecting him to be four in everything, his target capability score is 100%. So it gives Halam a, a roadmap of where he needs to be uh, focus his efforts to be more proficient. If we look at someone else within the, uh, the matrix, for example, uh, Tyler J. Uh, Tyler J is currently one in assist advisor with preparing for client meetings. But the team manager has allocated a, a target expectation or proficiency expectation of level two. Now, this is a, a fluid report. You're co as a team manager, you're constantly addressing skills shortages and moving the team uh, iterat iteratively um, in terms of its performance. So Tyler J, he, he is currently capable in six of the 13 skills that exist within the team. We can see one, two, three, four, five, six. We've set expectations for him to be proficient in 12 of the 13. Therefore, there is a capability gap, specifically for, for Tyler, um, of six processes. He's currently 55.8% proficient, and we expect him to be 73.1% when all of those targets are realized. Now we can also see um, the capability coverage per skill and task. So if we look at uh, assist advisor with preparing for client meeting, we have six people that are currently capable at that skill, but we're wanting to get that to 14. So we have a capability gap of eight. We have a proficiency of 56.7% for that one process, and our targets get us uh, our targets when realized will get us to 80%. In the bottom right hand corner, we can see current versus target uh, absolute capability. So as a team, we're 59.18% proficient. We're going to get to just shy or just over 80% when our targets are realized. But then we also have a further 21%, which would be future target setting. If we go back to the top of the report, we can see these charts move with the data. So the red line is where we want people to get to. 
the black line is where they currently are and the gap in between is the target so that's what we've got to fill in order to realize our target now as a team uh, we can see here that we're, we're currently within the broadening capability phase we we've set targets that will get us to the broad expertise phase now it may be when you create your initial skills matrix that this is quite low you may be in broad inability or, or developing capability but your targets when they're set iteratively and we would suggest say a quarterly for that for, for that um, target setting for your team you can start to move the, and progress your team in terms of its overall proficiency throughout the year um, the reason we have this as a one page is simply so that you can print it and share it with the team. Uh, it's incredibly uh, impactful for individuals within the team to be able to see at a very granular level what capabilities are required within the team, where they currently are and what targets have been agreed between the team member and the team manager or supervisor um, in terms of their training and development. What we see at the top here is uh, your team name. So when you populate your team name, it will change the title. Your name is the team manager. Uh, the number of team members and skills recorded is, is automatically produced, taken from the report. Uh, current team capability score and target team capability score are also taken from the report. Um, the only thing you have to complete here is when you expect to realize this set of, of, of targets uh, as a team. Uh, and again, we would suggest doing it quarterly, um, but reviewing with your team members this information uh, on a regular, you know, weekly by weekly basis uh, and trying to work to reduce these capability gaps and improve overall skills capability. Uh, you can download this uh, template from uh, skillsmatrixtemplate.com uh, and if you have any questions you can reach out to us at hello at ability6.com uh, or you can call us on 0330 043 8943. Uh, we can also produce bespoke um, reports and uh, analysis if, if that's required. Um, the next, uh, once you get to this level the next level up would be to use the cloud-based platform at ability6.com uh, that will allow you to manage multiple teams, uh, larger teams uh, and really uh, take advantage of much more detailed analytics. Um, but hey-ho, hopefully you found this useful. Um, if you have any questions, comment in the video below. Uh, please do like it as well because that helps us share uh, best practice with other team managers um, and hopefully works to improve the capability of, of, of teams around the world. Thank you.